Hello everyone, welcome back to another life episode. I'm still in the process of getting some stuff done here now. This is uh, my update, you know. So, first thing I have to say, the most saddest thing I came across um, is not a new pickup. Well, I picked it up. I got it for free because of, um, I'll explain. Now, of course, you'll be like, Panzer Dragoon. Awesome. Well, might be kind of hard to see. Yeah, I can see it in the preview. <laughs> might be easier. I was, looking for, I was looking through a box of, uh, one guy who just picked up some stuff, and uh, I was like, dude, you know this CD's cr He's like, oh, it's like, it's not available again. Like, it's Panzer Dragoon. It's like, oh. So, um, I asked him if he wanted the case, and then he just said, take it, you know, because games obviously not going to work. So, I might hang that on the wall as a decoration and uh, keep the case, which even comes with the foppy old me thing and the case is in pretty good condition so it's a spare case if I ever got a Saturn version of uh, Panzer Dragoon but anyway I do have some other pickups here uh, first thing um, I don't usually th show off controllers and stuff in my pickups unless they're really weird but um, I found this strange uh, NES control called the Turbo Touch 360 and um, this thing does not feel like anything so I don't know if it works. I got it at the Goodwill as you can probably see for like two dollars has turbo buttons. And that's basically why I got it because um I don't have a turbo control for my NES so I was like yeah, I could give it a try. I don't know if this move pad's gonna work but it's two dollars it's something kind of bizarre. So I thought eh if that works it's two dollars. Now here's something this is also not directly video game related but um, here's something I came across I did not expect. Dragon Strike. If you watch Spoonie, you probably know what the hell this is. This was not what I expected to find at a Goodwill for one doggle. Um, they didn't have the board game, so that's a bit of a shame, but I thought it was just really funny to see Dragon Strike sitting there in a Goodwill. Like, seriously? But anyway, I do have a number of pickups here. So, let's separate everything. So, in brand new game aspect, there's, of course, Fire Emblem Awakening that came out just recently in America. Um, it's having very good reviews so far, though, uh, at most, some people are calling it the casual hand-me-down to uh, common people. And I have to say... Let's sit this other one down here real quick. I have to say, for some reason, the cover art strikes me a little odd. I don't know. Maybe it's just the gray and blackness, you know? I'm, I'm used to seeing it, like, very colorful. Well, where is Fire Emblem? Where do I have it sitting? That's odd. Should be somewhere. Yeah, there it is. You know, Used to seeing like the Fire Emblem logo seeing, looking more colorful, so maybe it's just the kind of black, gray, white color scheme kind of nods me off. I have to point something out. This is in the American version. I don't know if other versions, I doubt the Japanese version has this, but I want to show you the booklet. This is the booklet. It is a square paper folded up. This is the booklet. This is the book. <laughs> wow. That's fucking cheap. Damn. I've seen people have some cheap looking books, but fuck Nintendo. And I bet like, you know, Japan has this giant colorful filled thing. But on the upside, I do really like the art on the cartridge though. It has a little uh, spike. Uh, I do like that touch, but good lord, what the fuck about the book? It's not even any nice art. But uh, I haven't played it yet, but I have actually checked out some uh, reviews of it. It's looking good. Admittedly, I'm not going to lie, I really suck at Fire Emblem games because I usually have to replay a few times to make sure everyone lives. Yes, I'm one of those purists who uh, 
Don't like anyone dying, so. The other thing I got new was Guild Wars 2 with my new fancy computer that seems to be doing just fine. I'm wanting a lot of my PC needs now. I I felt like picking up Guild Wars 2 because I really like well I've mentioned let's see if I can get out here. You come out. Well I do have the Guild Wars 1 trilogy and I didn't really end up liking it very much. Um, this threw out all the instant base stuff that was in Guild Wars. Um, so, it has like a more open world that's kind of like World of Warcraft. You can run around, see other people running around shit. So, um, be honest, um, this is looking very good. So, I was been so tempted to get it, but I was afraid it wouldn't work on my old computer. Well, now I got my new one, so I was like, yeah, buy it. I haven't tried it yet, though. <laughs> Okay, now, uh, the other two, I had two more pickups, um, that were from the same shop as the, uh, Panzor Dragoon, and they are both Sega Sound. Uh, this, they both don't have their booklets. Um, this one, it looks a lot like Wayman or something on the, like, it's really colorful. Um, I've never heard of it, and, um, does it say who made it here? So this is trademark of Sega, so I guess Sega made it. Um, it looks very Wayman-ish, so um, might might be interesting to try that one. But uh, the other one is uh, a Bullfrog Classic that still has the the West uh, Wing card in it still, but it would be the Magic Carpet, um, which was a uh, one of Bullfrog's bizarre games where he ride a magic carpet and shit. Um, it was on PC too. Um, I never played it, so he was giving me a two for one deal, and that was the that and Panzer Dragoon were the only two things interesting. And obviously, I checked the CDs, and Panzer Dragoon was damaged, so uh, that get, that went out the window. And uh, he told me I could pick one other one for free, so uh, I picked out. That one, because uh, it was the only other one that looked interesting. Okay, so I got two GameStop pickups here. Uh, they're in uh, Neo Geo Color cases, because that's why I keep my loose DS games in, because they're like the only thing I can fit in there. So, uh, apparently, uh, GameStop is getting way to get rid of a lot of DS, and well, they're all way in the process of getting a lot. Of, Getting rid of a lot of DS and Nintendo Wii titles, along with the GameCube titles. It looks like they're um, planning on dropping GameCube, which isn't shocking. And uh, obviously, with all the shelfware and shit that's on the Nintendo Wii, um, they're probably wanting to take advantage as much as the backwards capabilities of the Wii U before it eventually gets thrown out like the Wii did with the GameCube options because they, they, if you didn't know, they eventually actually started making Wiis without the GameCube stuff in it. So, um, <clears throat> they're selling a lot of DS, Wii, and GameCube stuff with either percentages off or buy one, get one of this, and actually I'm um, at my local GameStop. This is from the GameStop at my parents' area in St. Marble. But my local GameStop was having a buy one, get one half off Wii in DS, and it could be transcend. This one was just having a sale on DS stuff. Like, they had tons of it, so they were just selling it really cheaply. Um, I did get two carts for my local one, but that's for the future contests. Um, one of them is actually a Wii DS game, and I thought maybe that would be an interesting game for a contest in the future. But anyway... Those will remain a mystery, so let's get on what I got at the GameStop when I visited my parents. And dropping them is not a good idea. But, first one is a Konami, it's called, uh, what was it called again? Uh, Wireway. <laughs> it was called Wireway, and um, I tried a little bit, it's kind of just a simple little puzzle game. Uh, the art style looked kind of interesting, so I was like, eh, I haven't got a Konami game in a long time. Make sure nothing in the connect was there. I did not mean to drop that. That was an accident. <laughs> First DS game I've ever dropped. 
Now the other one I got was the uh, Vakui Profile game, if the thing will focus. That's on the uh, DS. I never got the uh, PS2 sequel, and I never got this one. Uh, these were both two dollars. So ah, <laughs> wow. Two DS games dropped. This is why I don't like getting loose DS cards. Okay, looks like nothing. <laughs> wow, I'm not having a good record on that little way. So uh, last thing, um, as I always showed, uh, I got some stuff from the Goodwill and Hill. This was a sealed copy. Um, it had stickers on the box. So, you know, that doesn't necessarily guarantee it was sealed, but the um, the actual case actually was sealed. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was just all sealed unless somebody went through a lot of trouble. But from the eventual company comes the Black Mule. I never heard of this one. Apparently, I'm just not aware of what the fuck the, uh, the eventual company does, you know, aside from Sam and Max. Looks like I got a lot of stuff. Uh, it has a very nice jewel case, unlike the Shark Holmes game. Uh, what year is this done in? It has Windows XP on it, so it must be somewhat old. It doesn't have Vista, but it has a very nice uh, jewel case on it. And it has a very bizarre kind of uh, lift thing here, because um, it has like these little mechanisms in the uh, case, and it actually holds the position now. It's kind of weird. But it has a very nice case and everything, so I actually appreciate that. Uh, sorry, Sherlock Holmes, but your little cardboard paper things uh, don't really tickle the collector in me. Um, this looks kind of like mist. It's very dark and brooding looking in the uh, screenshots, so um, this might not be a very normal eventual game. Um, it looks very brooding, but it kind of reminds me of mist for some reason. I'm, I'm not 100% sure. But um, that's all my new pickups. Now, uh, update-wise, when it comes to our stuff, um, I got one more review done, uh, though I still have one that's not publicly yet, so that would be two more at the moment. Let's Play Wise, um, I know I've been behind on Let's Plays because I've been doing overtime. Um, as I've said a few times, right now the factory, like, I've said multiple times through my channel's existence that... The factory I work at, when it hits the summer, getting to the new year, and getting to the summer, spring, well, spring, getting the spring, the overtime usually kicks in because they're trying to make up uh, numbers and that for the beginning of the year and stuff. And we've just been working Friday, Friday. Ugh. Really burns you out. Especially when... A lot of people I work with aren't exactly eh, upstairs. Got people making constant fuck ups that other people have to deal with and stuff. It's it's annoying. Sometimes I really hate my workplace, but can't do much bad, you know. But uh, yeah, I've been doing a lot over time, so I am getting some little extra money, and I've been actually considering maybe using a little extra money for something, maybe. Maybe, just gotta make sure other things are, you know, prioritized. But it might be, uh, especially if we keep walking these Fridays, we currently are scheduled for next Friday, which doesn't have me smelling at all, really. I mean, we've already walked the last four Fridays, and then on one Thursday, I had to come in hour early to help uh, get some crap that was put on the floor off and processed. And that day was just treated like shit for coming in an hour early. So, uh, yeah. You don't get very nice rewards for being uh, helpful. <sighs> but yeah, I mean.
funny. I'm, I'm sorry, like, on my Let's Play channel, it's been a very slow... Because I usually have multiple videos go up a day. Like, you know, I usually have at least two go up a day. And, um, because I've been just tired, bored out, going to sleep early, just not really in the mood, I slowed it down. Uh, like, I got most other videos already upped, but, um... With the last story, I've been doing one a day of that, and um, I'm trying to get some more footage done because I've been feeling a little better. But you know, if walking in a Friday, I don't know. It's just it's boring me out, really. So, but uh, I'm trying to keep content going. I'm trying, I'm trying, but I might have to skip a day or two because I'm just so tired and that. That's why um, you've been seeing a lot of FRAPS videos, um, or test videos, because, you know, I can just do a little few second things and then sit down and relax and just kind of think about something simple and not commit to a whole hour or something of that, so. But, um, I'm, I've been doing good with FRAPS, um, I think I got nailed down to do, uh, pretty good recordings for most stuff now. Um, I was having trouble using it with Minecraft initially. Uh, for some reason, after maybe like five minutes and beyond in a Minecraft recording, eventually the video would start spazzing out like... Uh, 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 uh. Like, there's like several frames repeating. And um, I wasn't sure what was causing that exactly. Because a lot of people on uh, YouTube use flaps to record Minecraft, so there has to be something bizarre. And uh, after messing with some of the settings, um, Aaron gave me a program to put in Minecraft that gives you a lot more setting options than that. And that shot, like, the game's uh, frames per second to, like, 120. And um, for some reason... Uh, I think that had to deal with it, because I lowered it to 60, and I haven't had that happen again. So, uh, I have like a 20-minute 20, 20 session that I'm probably going to put up on my main channel, because uh, it looks like it turned out fine, and we'll see how it turns out on YouTube, and I'd love feedback on how that turns out, because obviously that's better than Cam Vision. On the television set, but you know, at the time I I didn't have a good way of getting it. So um, hopefully that'll turn out better. But I still have a little footage from Aaron's World, um, still uh, with the camcorder. So there will be a few of those still left. But uh, after those are done, any more in Aaron's World will also be done with flaps. So um, yeah. Anything else? Uh, not really. Um, I'm really focusing on trying to get Wacko the August War, The Last Story, and the Dragon Ball Z game finished. Because uh, I do want to get uh, The Last Story finished, because Pandora's Tower is currently scheduled for next month. I'd love to play that. Um, but obviously I'll give a month of that, because be respectful to sales and that. To, um, to ensure people go buy it instead of encourage them to watch it instead. I, I mean... It, Sadly, there are people who do that, so... But, um... I've been thinking about playing the uh, DS Nia Kuni game uh, as my next uh, DS LP after I finish the DBZ game, perhaps. Uh, that way, um... I give time for the PS3 Nia Kuni to kind of settle in, and then I could start that one at some point. So, um... That would be good. Um, I've been looking up more about Nikuni on the DS, so, uh, I think I can get through it now, um, understanding, uh, what I think I have to do, but, um, you know, that's a one as you go kind of thing when you play a game directly in, uh, Japanese. You can only do so much, but I tell you, I never look forward to, uh, playing this one, uh, in Japanese, the, uh, Shimtenze the first Shim Tensei Devil Summoner game. Uh, that one I don't see being very easy to play in Japanese. But um, PC wise, I have a lot of PC games and a lot of them I couldn't play on my old computer. Now I have a lot of uh, my new computer, so 
um, I can actually play a lot of stuff, and uh, I might actually even get to why I'm trying Final Fantasy uh, 14, which, yeah, I know, everyone, eh, wait, wait. Um, you know, you know me, I, I take people's opinion with a grain of salt. I don't dash you for your opinion or anything, but, you know, you yourself are the ultimate judge of your opinion of whether you like something. A review is just to help you kind of get an idea, but doesn't always guarantee that, you know, tell you whether you would really like it or not. So, and you know, there's obviously been five bazillion updates, so. Uh, that's something I would like to uh, get away on the trying to, so uh, aside from that, I don't think there's really much else. Uh, my, my moving progression is still pretty, eh. Um, I still have this void right here on that. Um, still have stuff sitting around. Uh, same reason, sadly, bored out from overtime. So I've been uh, I've been putting up a shelf on the wall behind the camera. On the uh, walls, uh, mounted uh, mounted little bar things that you put hooks in that for just like a plaque of wood of that. Um, getting stuff set on that, and I put uh, two mini ones out in the living room, then put some stuff on now, but that's about the most I got. Uh, I'm so glad I just got all this done before this overtime. That, that's what I was really worried about when this, this whole kicked out of your apartment thing happened. I was really worried this overtime was going to kick in and I was just going to be totally screwed on getting time to do all this stuff while being borned out and doing it and shit. So, but, um, yeah. That's in the past now. It's time to move on, sadly. <sighs> okay, well, I pretty much think that's it. Nothing else to really talk about, I don't think. I think I've went over everything. So, uh, the extra money. Basically, I've been thinking about maybe getting a Nintendo Wii U or PSP Vita. With my extra money that I'm getting from overtime. If, um, I don't end up having to use it on anything. If I don't, I've been thinking about it. Honestly, to me, I'm more interested in the Wii U, but at the same time, it's having, like, the PSP Vita's part. Because the PSP Vita now has a few interesting games on it. it. Like, not an intense amount, but compared to the Wii U, the only thing I'm interested in now is Nintendo Land and Zombie U. And that's about it. <laughs> well, you know, it's about... Four or five games now in the PSP Vita I'd be interested in. So I'm kind of... But, uh, you know, feel free to throw in your own uh, opinion about that. And, um... Oh! Oh! I totally forgot! I totally forgot. I just remembered, actually. Uh, Class of Heroes 2. In case you weren't aware, the Class of Heroes 2 campaign to get... 2,500, at least 2,500 physical versions sold, um, you know, by doing a sign-up thing to see if people are interested, has succeeded, and they said they have achieved 2,700 sign-ups. So, it succeeded. Supposedly, tomorrow on Monday, the main site, which all those links will be down there again, the main site is supposedly supposed to be telling how the whole process of buying your copies that you signed up for on Amazon will take place. Um, from what it sounds like, he, as far as I'm aware, he, the Twitter has not said anything about how it's going quite yet, but from what I'm hearing, it sounds like we're going to get like um, some kind of number of codes in our email, and we have to enter those to get the copies we signed up for. So... At least that's what it's sounding like, but uh, not 100%. Um, I ended up getting three copies of that, one for myself, uh, one to give as a later prize, and one to a uh, subscriber who kindly asked if I could get him a copy, um, and he paid me back later because he does not live in America, and they would not be releasing a physical version in Powell Territories, so I'm doing that as a favor for him. But... Um, 
tomorrow, Monday, check out the site if you signed up for information on how to do that. So hopefully there's no complications in that. But um, we just have to wait until tomorrow to find out. But uh, it's a good thing it succeeded. I'm very glad and I hope there's no issues that happen. Like um, what happened to Nini Cooney on the PS3 Wizard Edition. That was awful. <laughs> Having all those people all don't get screwed. <laughs> And they, and somebody actually did ask them, are you going to make sure that doesn't happen? They're like, there will not be any digital wiffle incidents here, so. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that should be the last thing. So, um, uh, thank you to everyone who, uh, signed up for the Class of Heroes 2. Thank you to everyone who helped spread that around. I'm sure I didn't end up helping too much, but, you know, every person helps. So, I'm very glad that I got to spread out. Though I was still a little disappointed some of the people I asked who were, you know, obviously bigger YouTubers that could get their voice out there didn't seem really interested. So, well, Slasher, um, Slasher said he was a little interested, actually. But, um, I mean, really big. Slasher's a nice guy, though. Um, not, not personal, man. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> Next time, well, yeah, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm just rambling on, rambling on. Why the fuck do I just ramble on? Damn it! Ah.